वेलकम टू एस टी अकेडमी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्ट टू ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन फॉर टी एस एंड एम सेट एग्जाम्स लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ट्वेंटी एट क्वेश्चन ए लिफ्ट इज गोइंग अप द वेरिएशन ऑफ द स्पीड इज गिवेन एज द ग्राफ इज गिवेन हियर सो वेन यू सी द ग्राफ यू मे गेट एन आइडिया इट्स ए ट्रैपिजम सो एरिया ऑफ द ट्रैपिजम यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट हियर what do you need to find out just check it what is the height to which the lift takes the passenger so here if you see the structure of the graph is a trapezium you know the formula of trapezium half length of longer diagonal plus length of shorter diagonal if you see the longer diagonal that is in the base is 12 and the shorter one is 8 that is 2 to 10 so when you add this and multiply with the height what is the height 3.6 so here you will get the answer displacement equals to half that is a formula of trapezium half upper diagonal plus lower diagonal into height you will get the answer this is a very simple question mostly this question can come in m set next 28th one the figure shows the velocity of a particle whenever you see this figure you may see that this figure the displacement of the particle is zero and the velocity change its direction of motion at some point and the initial and final velocity are same so all the above statement are correct for this figure next is 22nd problem when you see velocity and time graph he is asking you to calculate the average velocity whenever you see the upper one and the lower one graph are same the displacement is zero when displacement is zero the average velocity is also zero this is a very simple question next 23rd one a man a particle goes a to m with a speed of 30 km per hour and m to b with a speed of 50 km per hour and mb equals to 5 am the average speed in kilometer so the average speed you know the displacement so first displacement is x and the second one is 5x you are taking that the total displacement 6x and the time formula you know displacement by time so when you substitute you will get this answer next is this question the graph of the displacement time for a body traveling in a straight line is given we can conclude that so whenever you see this graph so here what you feel uh, when you see a the velocity of the body at a is zero why because it is stopping at a the suppose it's a semicircle a is a point where velocity is zero from there this option check where a is given zero yes so a is zero next is the displacement of a particle varies with time whenever the displacement of the particle varies with time the simple question is a particles move with constant acceleration so you can do the calculation also as the question is given under root x equals to t plus 7 you know the formula of acceleration acceleration formula is dv by dt but you don't have v so how to calculate v in straight line the v formula is dx by dt x is given just bring uh, plus x here so it become minus x then this uh, root of uh, x will go it become whole square 10 plus x whole square a whole square then uh, sub with the formula a plus b whole square you substitute you will get the x value then differentiate you will get the velocity then you differentiate you will get the acceleration whenever if the displacement of the particle varies with time so when you find that the acceleration is coming that means the acceleration is constant this is a very simple question this is a very very important question these are very logical question which are normally asked in the exam a bus start from rest with acceleration is given a man who is 48 meter behind the bus man is 48 meter behind the bus means the distance between a man and the bus is 48 meter so the man equals to bus plus 48 meters behind the bus with a uniform velocity velocity is given then the time you need to find out so the distance uniform velocity is 10t so the minimum time after which the man will catch the bus so the formula is man equals to distance of bus plus 48 meters so the man is 10t so why we are writing that is let us assume that the man catches the bus after t seconds means how much time 
10 seconds after 10 seconds so the man the time is t second you know the distance formula for a man is velocity into time the distance formula you know is speed into time speed is 10 and time is t so you in place of s man you put 10t and bus formula is ut plus half at square plus 48 when you substitute that then you will get a quadratic equation you get the roots you will get 10 minus uh, t minus 8 and t minus 10 so you will get the answer t is equals to 8 second and 12 second very simple question guys next is 29th question it a 150 meter long train is moving with uniform velocity of 48 45 kilometer per hour the time taken by the train to cross a bridge you need to find out the time taken by the brain to cross the bridge so first you see the velocity is uh, 45 and 45 kilometer per hour convert the velocity into meter per second you know the formula to how to convert velocity into 5 by 18 when you do the speed is 12.5 next the distance is what is the distance here 150 meter long so to cross the bridge the bus is 150 meter long and the bridge is 850 meter length the so total is 1000 so the total distance is 1000 and the time is 12.5 you will get the 80 second very simple question next this is a very very important question 38 one if the velocity of a particle velocity is given and at the same time it says the average acceleration the formula of average acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity by change in time so time change the difference between time is 5 minus 2 that is 3 and the velocity of 2 seconds and 5 seconds substitute in place of t you will get the velocity of 2 second and velocity of 10 seconds so velocity of 5 seconds the velocity of 2 second is 8 meter per second and velocity of 5 second is 60 meter per second substituted in the formula you will get the answer this is very simple guys 31 38 one what it says very easy question if you do this all question definitely any kind of question examiner asks you can answer guys because these are a very logical question that is designed based on all the topics that are taken from a straight line a particle moves in x axis uh, having x varies with time and the x is given time in second the initial velocity you know to find out x is given x is there so initial velocity when you need to find out the initial velocity so how you can find the initial velocity x is given what is the formula of velocity dx by dt when you differentiate uh, 2 2 is a constant it's become 0 it is minus 5 t 12 t square uh, minus 5 plus 12 t substitute whenever you need to find out any initial velocity when any question is given is asking you to find out initial velocity just keep in velocity in place of time zero you will get the answer minus five the initial velocity the time is zero guys so velocity you got minus five plus 12 t but you need to from the velocity if you need to find out what is the initial velocity just substitute zero you will get the initial velocity that is a very simple question guys next is the velocity of a particle a body depends on time this is a very confusing question sometimes the question are didn't understood by the student why because the reason is the velocity of a body depends on time the velocity is given when you uh, calculate it you will get the acceleration so acceleration depends on time the velocity of a body depends on time the body has acceleration which depends on time so the answer is non-uniform acceleration this is the answer what you will think that how your non-uniform acceleration is coming in non-uniform acceleration the velocity of a body depends on time as well as acceleration depends on time this is another question very tricky question by because if the relation is given between x and t t is a alpha x square plus beta x alpha beta are the constant retardation of the particle retardation means negative of acceleration guys you need to find out t is given you don't know how we can find out the velocity simply what you do whenever you don't know the velocity so what you do you do uh, dt by dx normally what what we do dx by dt so when you got a t you do dt by dx when you differentiate x square become 2x that is 2 alpha and beta x means x d by dx of x is a, it's 1 so beta so you got dt by dx but what is uh, v is dx by ds reciprocally you will get the velocity now you need to find out what is retardation the formula of retardation acceleration is v into dv by dx substitute this differentiate this you will get the retardation very simple question guys but very tricky next is initial velocity of particle in 
u and acceleration is given which of the following for the final velocity is valid so which is the option which is just for final velocity just simply you remember this one v is equals to u plus half at is the following relation which is valid for which is valid for final velocity final velocity valid for u is v is equals to u plus half at squared this is a very simple question tricky question just remember this at the 35th question this is a very uh, prompt question a ball is released from a height h from the height h a ball is released above the ground above the ground the height a ball is released from a height h above the ground it takes a time t to reach the ground where is the ball at t by 2 so you know the formula of height height h is equals to half gt square and substitute that in place of time you substitute the t by 2 you will get the distance that is s s is equals to h by 4 so from that height from the ground you need to calculate h minus h by 4 that is 3 h by 4 is the answer next is this is very very easy question a car covers a distance s on a straight road in 3 hours and return back to its initial points in 4 hours then its average velocity simply see whenever the someone goes to a point again come back to a same point mean the displacement become zero so when displacement is zero average velocity is automatically it's zero guys next is this is a very simple question just remember this a particle is rotating in a circle of radius r the distance traverse by it in completing half circle would be the distance of semi circle semi circle means pi r this is simple guys pi r is the answer this is a very important question mostly what happen they will ask from the graph negative velocity see if you see the graph where you will find the negative slope see if it's starting from c the slope is increasing from d it's constant when it's coming down at e the slope is negative again it comes down at f it's positive so here the slope is positive at c and positive at f and at e it's negative very simple question very tricky question understand and do it guys 38 one next 39 this this is a question that's very important in this just you whenever it says to find out the time the formula is 2n minus 1 when you find n you will get the answer is ton falls freely from rest and total distance covered by it in last second of its motion equal the distance covered by it in third 3 seconds of its motion that is formula is half gt square 3 second is given when you comp when you do this half gt square you will get the answer 9 by 2 9 by 2 that is the value of g that is 10 that is uh, 10 90 by 2 90 by 2 so when you do equals to g by 2 this is a big formula but it's a very simple formula is 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 equals to 9 is this why because 3 square 2n minus 1 n square this is the formula for this one so here it is directly writing here for the last minute whenever it said 3 seconds mean 2n minus 1 equals to uh, the last second what is the last second 3 3 square 2n this is a very simple question whenever it asks you to find out the last second just what do you do write 2n minus 1 and what is given in last second that is 3 seconds this write 3 square that becomes 9 so directly here i have written uh, 2n minus 1 directly but it, when you calculate it and equals to 5 this is 5 second last next this is very very important question this question uh, is very sometime they change the angle the displacement time graph shows two particles moving uh, and making an angle 30 degree 45 degree with the x axis the ratio of velocity the formula of ratio of velocity is tan tan 30 degree by tan 45 degree means the first angle is the first angle divided by second angle the first angle is 30 degree second angle is 45 degree you know what is the value of tan 30 degrees 1 by root 3 45 degrees 1 so 1 by root 3 Uh, the what the value is one by root three and one by root three is one is to root three. This is a very simple. It next is another one. Is this forty a one question? A train is moving with a speed uh, with a velocity. Initial velocity is given. Uh, uh, whenever it says the train is moving with a velocity thirty meter per second, so initial velocity is given. When brakes are applied, it is found that the velocity is reduced to ten meter per second in two forty meter. What is the velocity of the train? when the velocity of the train is zero distant travel is just here we initial velocity is given final velocity is also given so initial velocity is 30 and in, final velocity is 10 
तो वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इज टू ए एस इज द फॉर्मुला हेयर यू गॉट द डिस्टेंस टू फोर्टी सब्सिट्यूट इन वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इज टू टू ए एस यू विल गेट द एक्सेलेशन अगेन वेन यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस वेन द विलासिटी ऑफ द ट्रेन इज जीरो तो फाइनल विलासिटी वेन इट सेज द विलासिटी when the velocity of the train is zero means final velocity will be zero when so again substitute in the formula in place of final velocity now you write zero and initial um, velocity become 10 meter per second now zero square minus 10 square substitute here you will get 30 meter so the total distance is 240 plus 30 that is 270 meter this is a very important question guys next is very important question a particle moving on a circular path of a radius r with a constant velocity acceler the average acceleration of the particle during half of its motion this is very simple formula 2v square by pi r is the just remember this this is very simple next is this is also a 43rd one is a very important question for mc all, all questions are very important as but this is very very important question a wheel covers 9.5 km in 2000 revolution and what is the diameter of the wheel so substitute here so when it's about it when it asks about the wheel is a circular path n into 2 pi r is the formula and next is n into 2 pi r is the formula now what is n number of revolution number of revolution, revolution, revolution is 2000 now the distance formula is what is the formula of distance velocity into time the velocity is given how much uh, velocity is not given here so 9.5 km distance is given 9.5 km km yes 9.5 km keep 9.5 km next is uh, so kilometer is given but, but you have to uh, see the option whenever you are seeing see the option in option they are asking in meter or in kilometer they are asking in meter so you know to convert kilometer you have to write 10 to the power of 3 next into 2 pi d now, now next you need to find out the distance the dist diameter sorry the diameter formula is 2 pi d uh, now is in place of r write d by because you need to find out the diameter so here 9 into 10 to the power of 3 equals to 2000 into pi d d you need to find out substitute here you will get the answer next is very simple question this question is very tricky question a particle move along a circle with a uniform velocity v after it has met an angle its speed will be it's making an angle 60 degree uniform speed means whenever it says in uniform speed of the particle so the uniform speed is always constant the answer is v guys the next is last question of this a particle is moving along a circular path of radius 2m with a uniform speed Uh, of five kilometer, what will change in the velocity when the particle completes half of the revolution? Means it's completing half of the revolution. Whenever it says the half of the revolution, the formula of, for half of the revolution delta v is equals to two v sine theta by two. Substitute the velocity. Velocity is five. Uh, delta v is equals to two into five into sine one eighty by two. Uh, that is ninety degree. Two five sine sine ninety degrees one two five is ten ten meter per second is the answer, guys. This is all about. A straight line. In our next video, we will discuss about motion in a plane, and work power, energy. All the MCQs we are trying our level best, but we are trying to cover up all the syllabus. Why? Because the reason of covering all the syllabus in a short time. Why? Because you have a limited time. But we are trying our level best, guys. We are working for you. Definitely, we will make more videos on that. Thanks for watching.